Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be all about my skincare heroes. These are skincare products that have just change the game when it comes to my skincare routine. They've made such a big difference in my skin and I kind of, I bring them out of my arsenal when I just need, maybe there's a product that just gives me some extra hydration, one product that has made such a difference in my melasma, an SPF that really just has great hydration to it and really just packs in the hydration in my skin when I wear it, a product for when my pores are super clogged and they just need some degunking. This product just saves the day, something that just renews my skin and just makes it brighter. So yeah, so many gems to talk about this video so I'm really excited so yeah we'll go ahead and get started so first let's talk about this product that has been a savior with my dry skin this has been plumping out my lines it's been just making my skin bouncy it gives life to my dull skin it's just it's just one of my favorites and I will not be able to live without this I'll definitely be repurchasing this but this is by the company I think you pronounce it unique unique but it's I-U-N-I-K. It's a Korean skincare brand. This is their Beta-Glucan Power Moisture Serum. This, I wanted to pick this up. I got this, full disclosure, I got this in my Korean skincare video that was sponsored. They sent this out to me. But I, I first heard about this through Penn from Penn Smith Skincare. She's a certified esthetician. But she was recently raving about the ingredient Beta-Glucan. Beta-Glucan is, it's actually found in yeast. It can actually lower your cholesterol. It lowers your cancer risk. It just does amazing things. So not only is it great for your body, but it's also great for your skin. There's a lot of really promising studies on this. One in particular showed its wound repairing capabilities, and that is huge when it comes to just maintaining the barrier on your skin. If an ingredient is going to heal a wound, it's for sure it's going to, you know, do some smoothing in your skin. And I really that's the biggest thing with this. I've noticed just just more bounciness in my skin, hydration and just more smoothness. I just I love this when I just want some extra moisture when my skin is just feeling like a shriveled raisin it just really just plumps out my skin I just love it so much it's nice and lightweight it's to compare it to something it's a little lighter than the Cozarx snail mucin that's a little bit it has that same consistency where it's like that stringy kind of serum but it's a little thinner so it's great for when you're layering it with other skincare products it absorbs really quickly into the skin I love it for nighttime daytime it's just great. I love it so much. The ingredients are great. It's fragrance free. There's no alcohol. And it's also 98% composed of beta glucan. The ingredients are very minimal. It's a short ingredient list. So it's an awesome product. I cannot rave about that enough. I just, I love it. And then next up, this has been making, oh, there's a hair on this. This has been making the biggest difference in the just the overall clarity of my skin. I don't usually get clogged pores. I do tend to, I have it in more oily T-zone though, like around my nose and maybe even in my forehead, but overall my skin is dry. So I am super picky when it comes to any kind of salicylic acid treatment. A lot of them can just dry out my skin, especially the ordinary salicylic acid. Oh my gosh, you guys, that stuff is no joke. I legit get like burning from that. I don't know if I just use too much or, or what, but that stuff has never worked for me. But Polish Choice Exfoliate, the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, is the most gentle BHA treatment I have tried. But I use this about maybe once a week, just when I'm starting to notice more clogging in the pores around my nose. You know, you can start to see this sebum building up. I almost, you know, you get those white spots kind of poking through your makeup. But I swipe a little bit of this like on the corners of my nose and even like in my inner cheeks where my pores were a little bit larger and it just like degunks everything it clarifies it just makes my skin so smooth it smooths out texture it's just so great if you have oily skin you could probably use this all over your face I can actually tolerate it too I don't really get any dryness from this which I think is why I love it so much it's just a great BHA for even dry skin it has propendiol butylene glycol which are both kind of skin identical ingredients that just do a great job moisturizing the skin they can act as humectants and then salicylic is right up there on the top of the list also green tea is in here, so which can be great for brightening the skin. It acts as a great antioxidant. So, so many great things in here. It's just super gentle. It just does a great job with degunking the skin. Forget those pore strips. My husband like swears by them. He does, to his defense, he does have larger pores and he does get like pretty big blackheads and they do, I don't know, they do work, but it just, oh, every time he uses them and he's ripping them off my, his skin, I'm like, that cannot be good for your skin. So if you're just a frequent user of those, which I used to be in high school, I used them a lot and I do feel like they did the job, but if you want something a little bit more gentle, that's not going to just completely 
rip off the surface of your skin. Go for the BHA liquid exfoliant. It's just great. I love Paula's Choice. There's so many great products from her line. So yeah, I'm just loving that. That product is so hyped up, but for good reason. Love that. And then next up is this product by The Ordinary. This is their 2% alpha arbutin with hyaluronic acid serum. This has been just a savior when it comes to brightening my skin. This has really made a difference in my melasma. I have, you guys probably noticed in my, probably my, I think it was my most recent video, I was makeup free at the beginning and I have a ton of melasma on my face. I in particular have a bigger sunspot underneath this right eye over here. And I have tried everything under the sun to lighten the sunspot. I do feel like The Ordinary's lactic acid has helped and also Sunday Riley Good Jeans has been a savior. But I noticed almost I don't want to say immediate results, that's exaggerating a little bit, but maybe when I was using this for about into two weeks, I already started to notice some lightening in my sunspots, and now it's been about maybe a month or two since I've been using this, and I just noticed an overall just improvement in my skin tone. I just love it so much. I don't know what I was doing without this ingredient in my life. It just has been a savior. I, AHAs always help with lightening, but I feel like that has made even a bigger difference than the chemical exfoliation I was doing. That just is great. It's not, I don't love it for all over the face. I almost like spot treat with it. It can pill a little bit, so I'm not a big fan of it, you know, underneath makeup, but I love it for at nighttime. I'll just do some spot treating on my specific sunspots. And yeah, I just, I've been loving that. It's been just a savior. All right, and next up is this gem of a moisturizer that's found at Ulta. I know I'm sure you can get it at other places online, but I buy it from Ulta's website. This is the Alpha Skin Care Enhanced Renewal Cream with 12% glycolic AHA. This is such an underrated moisturizer and it's so cheap. It's, I wanna say it's in the teens, but this has just been amazing for smoothing out my skin and just increasing the brightness and the overall just, I just get glowiness from this product. And the cool thing about this, you don't find too many moisturizers that have glycolic second on the ingredient list. So you're getting a ton of chemical exfoliation from this. It also has a peptide in here, also green tea, it's fragrance free. And it really does, the, immediately when you put this on your, your skin, you get an instant tingle from it. And it actually can be a little intense sometimes. I cannot use this with other AHA products. If I'm using you know, my Good Jeans Serum or another AHA serum, it's just too intense. I, I actually had to wash this off my face one night because it was stinging so bad. But even though you get that intense tingle, I never get any redness from it. It just, you can feel it like literally dissolving the flakes of skin off your face. It just, ugh, it just smooths out the skin. And I just always wake up with the most glowy skin from this. I just love it. I like pile this on my skin. It's, it's great if you have dry skin. I am almost done this. This will probably be in my next empties video, um, but it does last a long time. You get a whole two ounces in here. A great price for this. I just, I love it. I want to try some more things from Alpha Skin Care. Let me know if you guys have tried anything. I know Angie from Hot and Flashy always talks about their body lotion, which also has glycolic in it, which is so cool. I feel like it's hard to find an all over body lotion that has a chemical exfoliant in it. So I feel like that would do great things for the overall smoothness and your skin on the body too. So yeah, just great products from that line. Just like I said, I can't use it. Don't use it with any other AHA serums. So I'll just bring this into my routine on the nights where I'm just using like hydrating serums. And like I said, it just gives such smooth glowing results to the skin. I just love it. It's great. And then last but not least is this SPF that has been preventing this cold weather from just sucking the life out of my skin. I feel like it's really hard for me to find a mineral SPF that doesn't dry down to almost a powdery consistency. This one by Josie Marin is so moisturizing. This is her Argon Daily Moisturizer. This is the tinted ver version. This is an SPF of 47. This is great for underneath the makeup, on its own. It has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, both mineral sunscreens. And there's also a high content of Argon oil in here. So those of you with dry skin, I think would love this. This imparts such a beautiful, like dewiness to the skin. It just makes your skin look so healthy. I'm just obsessed with this. Now, this didn't have the best first impression for me. When I first applied this, the formula is almost more, a little bit more chalky. I don't know if that has to do with the mineral sunscreen in here, but it does dry down to a nice like oily finish. But when I was first applying it, I just expected it to be more of a slippery feel, but it's not that slippery going on. But like I said, once it, you know, kind of sinks into the skin, it just is so like, just dewy and glowy and just, Make sure your skin look radiant. Now I know a lot of people don't get along with the tint of this moisturizer. If you're more like of a pinky skin toned, it might not work for you because it definitely has a more like warm peachy toned base. So see that peachy undertone, but for my skin tone anyway, I do feel like once it blends in, it blends in evenly and it looks nice and natural and it almost gives like a natural sun-kissed look to the skin. See that glow? It just makes the skin look 
so nice and hydrated and dewy. It's just ugh, great for dry skin. This has been just a savior for me on these cold days, especially like in the mornings when I'm dropping off my daughter or preschool. It's so cold out, but it, the sun's so bright. And I just want, you know, a nice layer of protection on my face. And it just does a great job with moisturizing the skin and just making my skin look alive. So I just, ugh, I love that SPF. It's just one of my favorites. I have so many favorites right now. I know I've recently raved about the Purito sunscreen. I also love the Volition. I haven't, I have to pull that out. I haven't used that in a while. I feel like I've had good luck with sunscreens this year, but that is definitely one of my favorites for my skin is feeling extra dry. So yeah, that, that is the end of my skincare heroes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys have in your skincare collection that you pull out. If you have certain skincare needs, if your skin is feeling extra dry, if you're having a breakout, what are your like holy grail skincare products? I know some of these are gonna be like my top favorites for 2019. That video will be coming soon. Well, probably at the end of December, we'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know your favorite skincare products recently that you've been loving. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. See you guys.